the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of April 5th to the 11th, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to, as always, remind you to like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And when meditating on the energy overall for the week for you, the message that came through was ready to succeed, ready to succeed. And when shuffling for spirit to choose a song to speak upon your week, they chose Everything is Possible Now by Clouds and Thorns, one of my favorite songs. You're going to love it. And that'll be at the bottom of the description box if you'd like to listen. But the lines that stood out were, Oh, whoa, oh, let's dream out loud, because all we know has been turned upside down. Everything is possible now. As you're in the mood this week to succeed, ready to achieve everything you've um, desired to, you're reminded by spirit in the universe that everything is possible at this time, that possibilities are truly endless for Leo. So we're going to begin this reading by pulling a message or two from the Workulate Oracle deck. And do keep in mind general weekly read for the sign of Leo. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And as always, check out your other chart placements for more messages, all right? For our lovely Leos, for our lions, to begin this weekly read for the 5th to 11th of April. Thank you, Spirit. We got two. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Recently, Leo, there's a feeling that you've been feeling a bit alone. Even with what feels like a uh, support system surrounding you at times. Feeling like you are striving for the success um, all by your lonesome. Feeling like your independence needs to be achieved on your own. A reminder this week that you have more than one soul, a whole family of souls to support you, to guide you, to help you out. And then we have uh, Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Asking yourself important questions this week, Leo. Asking yourself, what direction am I heading in? Was I guided in this direction? Is this my passion? Is this my path? Where do I see myself down the line? Is the success that I'm looking to achieve at this time meant for me? Interesting. And we're going to continue by pulling uh, seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. What do we have for our lovely Leos to continue this weekly read? Thank you, Spirit. Bear with me. So we have four so far. Keep them coming for Leo. And what else do we have? And we're going to pull the last and final card right from the top of the deck. So we're beginning the week in the spread on Monday with the King of Pentacles. You begin the week on Monday feeling confident, feeling good. Without realizing it, you're manifesting. So I need to uh, focus on your mindset, keeping it ultra positive throughout the day. I need to on Monday to withhold from letting certain frustrations or irritations to get to you, to maintain a confident, peaceful uh, mindset. And it's side by side with the soul family card. It's on Monday where you could feel confident and, you know, stronger than you expect, but still feel a bit lonely deep down. And so in comes a reminder from spirit from the universe that you have a soul tribe ahead, whether that's a new one, an old one coming back, coming back to life. It's going to be different for all of you. This reminder leaves you feeling 10 times better on Tuesday. So we move on to Tuesday, we have the Knight of Cups. Making your way to Tuesday, you feel passionate, you feel inspired to succeed, to achieve what you desire. 
Tuesday's a great day for you, Leo, to begin a new hobby or a new project. Um, throw yourself into something creative where you will look back and be like, I'm glad I used that energy, that, um, that fire I had within me to achieve something creative. You actually want me to pull a small everyday tarot for this one? What do we have for this Knight of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles. And in comes another reminder on Tuesday as well that you have a fresh start ahead. That the success you desire at this time that you're longing for is a part of your future, but you need to adjust your perspective to manifest it. And on that note, we move on to Wednesday where we have the Magician. And so even more so compared to Monday, there's a focus on your mindset. You needing to move forward, manifesting the success that you desire. Going back to the song lyrics about everything is possible now at this time. To a reminder that Leos can achieve whatever they want, but you need to make sure you're not letting your strong mind get in the way. But we're moving on to Thursday where we have the devil. So when Thursday rolls around, you can't help but overthink. Finding yourself overthinking even small things. Reliving situations in your mind that you know were meaningless or just minor. Allowing yourself to... Allowing the desire for the success overall to make smaller situations more than they need to be. Needing a reminder of what took place in the beginning of the week. Once again, going back to the lessons that you learned on Wednesday about your mind, about manifesting. And a warning comes through on uh, Thursday, throughout Thursday, that this mindset could manifest uh, the negative, could manifest what you don't want. But all goes well when you make your way from Thursday to Friday. I need to pay attention to take note to what you do to calm yourself down, to simplify your mindset. Because we make our way to Friday and we have the King of Cups. Feeling more peaceful, feeling more at ease. Uh, I recommend meditation on this day. It'll maintain that beautiful mindset. And being aligned with the King of Pentacles, the fact that we have two kings is a day where there's a focus on you needing balance, doing what you can to balance out your mindset, your emotional state, you know, whatever it, uh, is needing more balance for you. And being side by side with this Imrama card, when meditating, when centering yourself, when grounding yourself on Friday, you'll be asking yourself important questions or being pushed to do so about where you're heading, about what you're looking to achieve at this time. And we're moving on to Saturday where we have justice. And so the weekend begins and you start to feel like the scales are balancing out for you. You start to feel like spirit in, in the universe is finally giving yourself, uh, giving you a taste of justice for once starting to get a taste of that success that you've been longing for, that you're so ready for. With the Knight of Cups being aligned, this taste of abundance, this taste of success for you is to keep you passionate, to keep you, to keep that fire alive within, to keep you moving forward. And we're finishing off the week in the spread with the Five of Swords. And so you make your way to Sunday and you have a headache. We're going to further clarify this one. What do we have for this Five of Swords? Knight of Wands. Uh, 
You finish off the week on Sunday feeling so passionate, so ready to go, so dedicated to the success that it stresses you out, that you're giving yourself a headache. Being aligned with this magician card, once again, a reminder comes in of the power, the importance of your mindset at this time to a reminder that the possibilities are endless. You can achieve what you desire at this time, but you need to adjust your mindset to keep things peaceful, to keep things um, abundant. So let's finish off this beautiful reading by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. For our lovely Leos, thank you, Spirit, to wrap up this weekly read. For Leo, thank you. I am gentle with myself in transitions. As you make your way through this week, Leo, remind yourself that you are only one person, that you've been changing a lot, that your world has been changing, that you at times are too hard on yourself, and that everything's going to work out, that you're destined for success. All right? So, Leo, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.